pipe trains are big in today's society. Uh, and I guess we're going to hop on one today. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of unboxings going around of pre-made bass fishing kits. You know, you got your MTB ones you see in the store now, uh, as well as being delivered to you. Uh, those the delivery ones are really popular. Your MTBs, your Monster Bass, your Warriors Tackle, all those. Six inch sack. Yeah, six inch super six sack. Uh, but the ones in stores are the ones we kind of want to focus on for now. And we kind of, what we want to do is we want to help you figure out what's the best option for you. Do you like specific baits from a specific company? An assorted variety of different baits from different companies? Uh, are you brand loyal or do you want to diversify? And what type of kit do you want? Whether it just be a soft plastics kit, you know, a bunch of assorted Senkos or something, or a hard bait kit, or whatever, top water kit, something like that. Or seasonal even. Yeah, even seasonal. So this will be the first in a few videos that we do, probably over time, but we're gonna start with this one. And I think we starting on a pretty good one. And I'll explain why as we go into it. But that is gonna be the Hack Attack Bass Fishing Kit. Put spotlight on Greg Hack. Now, what's interesting about this box, it's not a mystery. You know exactly what you're gonna get. Hack Attack Select Headbanger Buzzbait. A pack of Caffeine Chad. Fat Baby Finesse Worms. A Bitsy Bug Jig. And a Strike King Hat. So, here's the deal on apparel or gear being in a box. Uh, some people hate it, some people like it. That, and that's what this video is gonna help. Do you want a hat from Strike King? Do you think that contributes a lot to the pricing of it? Well, we'll talk about it. Uh, one thing about this box is, this box used to ring in at like $29. And it was making a lot of people upset that it was $29. And I, I do think they were resting on the price of that hat a little bit. You know, yeah. it could have been, there could have been a lot better stuff in that box with the hat. But now, these boxes only come in at $9.99, at Academy at least. But uh, I feel like, let's just jump right in, yep. see what's in it. Uh, <clears throat> so what do you got in yours first, Trey? I guess let's knock out that big thing first. The big thing? Well, I, the big thing on top, yeah. <laughs> Strike King hat. Striking hat, and this one has one too. It's it's pretty much the same hat, though. Yeah. I love it. But you know, it's a hat. It's orange. It's gray. It's a hat. Yeah. Uh, I probably wouldn't price it over five bucks. If I was just going to go buy a hat, I'd probably spend five bucks on the hat. So we'll we'll, we'll mark that down as five dollars. Yep. Uh, and then I'll, I'll guess I'll start on my first. We got the pack of caffeine shit. Now this is Strike Kings. Sit that box down for a minute. This is Strike King's take on the soft plastic jerk bait or a fluke. And this color is called Pearl. And it's just basically a white pearl. It looks really good. These are really nice soft jerk baits. You got your hook slot. You got, they really don't have the coffee scent like most of Strike King plastics do, but they still really work good. They're nice, soft. Mm -hmm. They're they're good little jerk bait. And you know, oh, and this is the five inch size. I forgot to say, this is the five inch. You know, your standard yeah. fluke size. And as Logan said, you know, competent. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you what's going to be in the box, on the box, but they don't tell you the colors or the size of stuff or anything like that. So on mine, I got the Ghost Shad color of the caffeine shad it does look pretty good and a four inch and not yeah. a five yeah so there is a little diversity amongst my now does that have the coffee scent on it yeah yeah this one says it does but i didn't smell it at all it's not as pronounced yeah, that, as that one been. smells like it. this one to me like i'll have you smell it i don't i don't smell the coffee scent no i just smell salt yeah like Hmm. Which, you know, that stuff happens sometimes. It's, just... it's a possibility that's an older, uh, that one's been on the shelves for a while. And it's kind of 
kind of soaked up all the yeah. coffee in or it's evaporated out of the bag. But we'll move into our next soft plastic, KVD Perfect Plastics Baby or Fat Baby Finesse worm in yep. the green pumpkin sapphire color. We both got this color. Yeah, yeah, both same same size. Yep, it's a five inch. Uh, good little worm there. Drop shot worm. Good little, yeah, just a good all around finesse worm. You can put that on a shaky head if you want. It's a little small for me, uh, but it still gets the job done. I, I tell you what, you can even wacky rig this. It's a good little wacky worm if you want to try that out. But you know, it's a good little worm. T rig it, shaky head, wacky rig, drop shot, anything you want to do, all around finesse worm with the coffee scent that we all love yep. in that green pumpkin sapphire color. Good worm. Good worm. What do you got? I'll go on to this. So, you get the Hack Attack Select Headbanger buzz bait. Well, the toad buzz. And, I mean, is black. I got the black one. Logan got the white one. White one. It comes with two buzz toads. Okay. What, and yours is also the 3 8 ounce. This is a 3 8 ounce yep. size. It's a good little... I'll go ahead and pull this one out to show you. And this one, yeah. Uh, just so you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> Comes pre-rigged with that toad on there, but there's another one in the pack. Standard buzz bait. No it's this long head, no clacker, no nothing. Uh, but good, so if you're a guy that likes plastics on buzz baits instead of a skirt, this is the type of buzz bait for you. Uh, it's very similar to that Andy Montgomery skipping buzz bait they got coming out, with just without the that wire that acts as kind of like a cross beam that holds it there so you can skip it. But uh, yeah, I mean it, it's a good buzz bait. They've been around for a while. Now Logan, have you actually used these before? I have used it once. Do they run pretty true? They seem to. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with your your bait too. Yeah, and if it's their trailer that straight. you have on there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was it's just a buzz bait. Sharp oh very sharp hook on it. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you about that. Uh, and then I think we both have one more bait. Indeed. Uh, the Bitsy Bug. Ooh. Well, let's see, does it say what color this is? I don't know this color off the top of my head. I have no idea what that color is. It's it's obviously some form of crawl pattern. Yeah, but it. <laughs> These guys, we keep running into these guys. But then I have the quarter out size in like a green pumpkin color. Yep, you got the quarter, I got a 1 16th. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Just, it's just a bitsy bug. If you've never fished with a bitsy bug, it's a more finessey style jig. Good for smaller, small good for smallmouth, good for pond fishermen. Yep. It is, it's, it's a good jig. It, it, I'll, I'll pull it out and show you if you want. <laughs> Throw a little Sagoshi bug on that and get the get. Yeah, that's that's another one of those catch co baits. You know, the ten thousand fish Sakoshi bug. It's made for Ned rigging, but I'm telling you, it's a good little finesse rig, finesse jig trailer. That smallmouth absolutely crushed by the way. Twilight put, color gets it. Put, put that on that bitsy bug. Yeah, I mean you'll nail them. Yeah, you'll nail them. A, a bitsy bug, and yours is much smaller. What size was yours? One sixteenth ounce. Yeah, yours is a 16th ounce versus this is a quarter ounce, so it is one fourth the size of this one. Yeah, and I mean, cold water, winter, finesse jig fishing for largies, you can't beat it. And then the last thing in the box is just this little card. Uh, it just tells you what's in the box. Uh, like we said, the Hack Attack Select Headbanger Buzz Bait, the Caffeine Shad, the Fat Baby Finesse Worm, the Bitsy Bug Jig, and a Strike King Cap. Yep. So you can look stylish in your Strike King apparel while you're using their baits. So I guess we should move on to, is it worth it? Is it worth it? So if we go through the stuff that's in the box, yep. you're looking probably, I don't know, like 450 something on the Fat Baby Finesse Worms, which are great worms. You're looking at about five bucks on the Caffeine Chads, yeah. which great soft jerk bait. Uh, so right there you are at like nine fifty. Yep. So you're right there at that ten dollar range. And then the headbanger toad bug. Yeah, you're probably like another four fifty five bucks. And then call it two eighty eight three dollars for the uh, bitsy bug. Yeah. And then 
So right there, you're probably at like $17 in baits. Uh -huh. Then you get, we'll say a $5 hat. So you're at about 22 bucks in value for $10. And if you don't count the hat, you're still at like 17 bucks worth of baits for 10 bucks. For 10 bucks. So overall, I would say yes. It's, it's worth it at the $10 range. But at the original $29.99 range, that's a bit much yeah, for what that, you get. Yeah, that's a stretch. I probably uh, because striking I'm probably, probably not doing that. They probably priced their hat at fifteen dollars. Yeah, so probably something like that. But, you know, they're 10, probably shooting at like like a thirty something dollar value with a hat. But I don't see it. Uh, that price range, it wasn't worth it. This price range, definitely worth it. I love Strike King plastics as well as hard baits. Everything in this box, I love. I'm going to yep. use it in great colors yeah. i think in my opinion everything in this box is great even the hats i like the hat I, that orange and gray that's a, that's a stellar look yeah i mean uh, but i think there's different hats in the boxes too i think there's like a blue one and like a gray one and then uh, yeah i think like a white and lighter gray yeah now, there's there several different combinations in these boxes apparently now we definitely seen you've definitely seen two variations of the boxes uh and you know, again, it's up to you whether you think it's worth it for you or not. My opinion, totally worth it. Yeah. Your opinion, worth it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it gets a thumbs up from us, just like you should give this video, by the way. Hit that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Just rip that notification bell apart, okay? Because if you don't, you ain't gonna hear from us. And we really want you to hear from us and watch our videos. Yep and one day get us monetized. <laughs> yeah. So we can get more boxes to show to you. See how this works? It's like a mutual trust type deal. Mm -hmm. you, know, you help us out. We definitely help you out with fishing techniques. These unboxings, our unboxings of like our six cents stuff, which you can watch here. Uh, check all the our videos out. You know, we do a lot of stuff like this, a lot of fishing, a lot of just techniques and tips that you can use. I mean, when you get out there, you want to know what you're doing. So study, learn, you know, I still watch videos constantly and I'm glad I do because I still learn a bunch yep. <laughs> and then I share that knowledge with you guys. So like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, comment, comment. unless but you're calling us what was it that guy said? He said we were scammers and that he, we, we contracted him on Fiverr to do a logo and n no. What? <laughs> like what? I don't even know what Fiverr is. What is Fiverr? Fiverr is like a, you pay somebody a rate that they set and they'll do something for you. So like you could pay legalized prostitution. <laughs> no, it's like commission work for art and stuff, but. Hey, like, somebody wants to pay me a fish for them, I'll do that. Yeah. But anyway, like I said, choose whether or not you like this box and then get out.